Hello everyone. Today let's uh, look at how do we work on exam.net for your summit your assessment instead of your paper and pencil writing. What you have to do is you have to type exam.net. Once you type exam.net, uh, what we will see is this screen. Now this screen shows you two tabs here. One is a student tab and another one is a teacher tab. Now as for learners, you obviously will be using the student tab. Now, if you look in the student tab, there is something written as enter exam key. Now, this exam key is an important aspect of your exam, which will be shared uh, with you by your teacher. Unless you don't have the proper exam key, you will not be able to enter the exam. So let's for a demonstration purpose, I'll be using a key. Uh, and I'll say next. Once I click on next, it will ask me for my name. So I have to enter my name. So let's enter some name. Now, once I click on fetch exam, this is the screen what will come to you which uh, will tell you begin your exam now one thing you have to keep in, in mind that once the exam have started you're not supposed to move out of your window now what you can see right now is on top there are questions and below that is a place to answer now this you can use it the way you want it correct now there are options here if you see on the left hand side there is how do you want the view to look like now this is way I want to write my paper right whether I want side by side or I want up and down whichever is comfortable to you to use it now this is very simple like your Microsoft Word how you type in Word you type in the similar way in here now here are different options which are available here you can see there are a lot of options what you get in Word so you have strike out your subscript you have superscript now you have special characters you have right expressions so many things are available to you so that which type of paper you're giving it becomes easier for you to work on that once you are well versed with writing in a word processor i don't think you will face any issues in writing here now this is for your uh, writing of your exams like even if you have to create some tables can you see it on my left hand side there are some table uh, which if I want to recreate the table I can recreate the table in the similar fashion so I can write my answers so how do I write my answers the so dot one or one I can write it whichever you think so you give the same question number to your answer so that it is understood by your teacher that this is the same thing don't just write one two three the way you want now suppose i'm answering this question if you can see if i'm answering this question and write your answer one and write that will the teacher be able to understand that so make sure that you don't confuse yourself and confuse the teaching some other numerical order of your questions so make you go as per the same order of your questions to answer them okay so don't make mistake there now as you can see on my left hand side you can see a big tab right now just for demo purpose I have opened I have shown all the required all the tools which come into exam.net okay so now here I have a formula sheet paper you have some formula sheets I can use those formula sheets if it is required for okay I can make use of formula sheets to do it now if I'm doing a programming, I can still have a programming tab which allows me to do here so that I can run my code and check and all. Other, I have calculator. I can use calculator. I have different modes of calculator and I can use that calculator very easily. I don't require a separate calculator with me while doing my paper. Okay. Then there are options like GeoGebra. Okay, so you can use GeoGebra, you can use Desmos. These are different tools which are available to you to work on it. Okay, there are drawing tools. Now, these are tools we can use it during your paper. So whatever you do here, okay, 
whatever options whatever drawing whatever diagram anything what you work okay you, when you save it it goes back to your paper so my humble request would be let's say if you are answering question number 10 and the question number 10 has this uh, option so write the question number 10 come here draw it save it okay because it will save at the the picture got saved here the picture is saved so you go back back to your question paper and you can have a look at it see it is saved correct now I can chat with the teacher the teacher will be always online with you when your paper has been started because the teacher will be monitoring you the teacher can see okay so if you have any difficulty if you uh, don't understand certain things or you think there is a mistake uh, you can chat with your teacher but as far as the exam is concerned uh, one word of caution is the exam is for your understanding okay now if you really feel there is a typographic error and all please chat with the teacher but otherwise if there's question if you're not understanding question that's not the teacher should tell you about what the question means it is your understanding so you do not ask questions on these terms only when there's typographic error or there you find you see uh, there's a table given a reference of a table given and the table is missing or a graph is given or some pictures given is missing then you so otherwise please do not uh, speak to your teacher about uh, these kind of uh, things because it's unwanted for please be aware of these things that what do you want to chat with the teacher if i'm trying to go out of the screen now what happens if you try to go out of the screen the teacher will not let you in so what happens here you lose your exam time so please do not try and go to some other browser or something stick to your page okay and make also make sure that you don't do anything on your computer that uh, your page uh, will go out of focus because as it goes out of focus you will be locked and once you're locked the teacher gets intimation that you have been locked and then you have to question why it was locked so now the teacher has to unlock you so if the teacher is unlocked you can resume your paper lastly i would like to make you understand about scan option using the qr code here you'll also require a smartphone to use this option now this option of exam.net is to facilitate paper and pen option of exam uh, the way we write uh, in the classroom this option is available when you cannot use the online format now this could be happening that uh, the language you're using let's say hindi or marathi where you can't write uh, with proper font and all those things it's, it's sometimes very really difficult if you don't have a correct keyboard for that so this option suits best for uh, that what you have to do is here you'll be looking at the question paper on exam.net on and a, a simple piece of paper your rule sheet or a blank paper you will write your answer once you write the answer you have to scan and upload that onto your exam.net. Uh, let's see, I will demonstrate the same, how to use this scan option. Now, if you could see here, uh, the learner is uh, using exam.net to see the question paper. The question paper is Hindi question paper, which the, ch the child is looking from the laptop. Now, once you look at uh, the question paper you will see you there is a, a divider between the two panes for viewing a one right hand side is a blank paper and left hand side is a question paper now as you are not writing on the blank side you can increase the size of the uh, question paper side and so that you can see it a little bold and better now what you have to do is once you finished writing your paper you click on the scan option now this will open up the page giving details of your QR code that what you have to do the step by step the three steps which have been laid down. Now at this time you pick up your smartphone and open the QR code reader which should be pre-installed onto your mobile phone.
as you open the QR code, you scan the QR code from the exam.net, which uh, you can see it on your uh, display. Uh, a pop-up will uh, come, which sh will show you the web link. Now, what you do is you click on the uh, web link and open the page. Now, when you open the page, uh, it will ask you to scan the document. You scan the document. and it will ask you for confirmation click on ok once you click on ok it will ask you to upload the page so now click on upload to upload the page onto examnet now it's trying to upload something so you can see there's something happening on the exam.net so now what it's asking is the code to be put in there so you'll be finding that code on your mobile phone so uh, here is the code 680 let's enter the code there as you enter the code the image will get uploaded now what you have to do is we just have to click on ok now once you click on ok it is uploaded let's go to show exam now when you go to show exam you will see that same text what you written and scan has been uploaded here so it's very simple way of uploading the files onto examnet once you have done it click on submit button submit your exam as it's uh, as you finished your exam that's done thank you i hope you have understood bit of exam.net thank you